Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. In today's video, I am going to review about PDF element versus Zodo. So guys, both are PDF annotating apps. So let's start. So I open both apps in the split screen mode. So this side I have PDF element and this side I have Zodo. So guys, the first tool which is really important is editing the already existed text of a PDF. So yes guys, PDF element provide you the option of editing the text so simply you have to select this tool over here and then you can select any area uh, to edit your text okay so you can see over here you can easily remove it and then you can add anything over here so guys you are completely able to edit and customize every single piece of your text okay so for example uh, you select any area okay so for example I select from here and then uh, I want to change the font I can change the font so you can see over here there is a different font options available okay so for example I make it like that and then if you want to change the font size you also have the option to change the font size you can see over here and then if you want you can also change the color so you see this colors option available so for example I will make it red and then I also have the option to translate it and then I can also search it on the web so these all tools available in the PDF element but there is no such tool available in the Zodo in the Zodo you can only add a new text you cannot edit the already existed text of the PDF so guys now I am going to talk about uh, Zodo tools which PDF element don't have. So the very first tool that I am going to talk about is the pen tool. So in Zodo we have multiple pen tools option available. So you can see over here I can change the size of the uh, stroke. I can also change the opacity and there are different colors option available. So I can select any color and then I can easily write on my PDF. In PDF element we also have the pen tool available but the options are very limited you only have six different colors option okay and the stroke size is also up to a certain limit okay so the next tool that I'm going to talk about is the eraser tool so you can erase any part of uh, your uh, handwritten uh, um, uh, text okay but in the PDF element there is no eraser tool okay the next tool that I'm going to talk about is the selection tool in the Zodo so you can select any area of uh, uh, in the PDF and then simply you can it edit it you can annotate it and you can also delete it okay the next tool I'm going to talk about is the major tool so for example this is the major tool so in Zodo we have major tool option available so you can see over here there are different major tools so you can see you can uh, make any kind of shape and it is uh, really dynamic you can change it you can change the colors okay and then we have more options so you can see over here we have different stroke and opacity options as well okay uh, but in PDF element there is no such option available the next tool that I'm going to talk about is the insert tool so guys you can insert any image also you can insert any link and you can also insert voice note okay so you can record your voice and you can insert in your PDF but in a PDF element there is no such a tool available okay so the next tool that I am going to talk about is the fill and sign tool so in fill and sign tool you have the option to insert the text box you also have the option uh, to insert the date okay so you can insert the date anywhere okay so you can see over here you can insert the date as well you can edit it as well but in PDF element there is a no such a tool available okay the next tool that I'm going to talk about is the draw tool so if we go to the draw tool we have different shape tools option available so you can see over here you can select any uh, any shape tool okay so you can see over here uh, you can see so but in a PDF element we have the shape tool available but it is only limited to a certain uh, shape so only for example you can um, uh, make a circle uh, you can make a box okay or a line okay so there is it's very limited but here we have too much options of shapes 
okay so guys in the zodo you also have the option of uh, crop pages so you can crop any uh, page from your pdf you just have to select from here and then you see this option of crop pages so you just select it and then uh, you can uh, manually crop pages or you can automatically crop pages so for example i want to crop this page okay so i can crop it okay so you can see over here and then i select this apply crop option and then you can see it is crop now so uh, this is really really important if you want to crop any page so you can see over here now it is crop so uh, in zodo there are more tools option available as compared to uh, pdf element but there is one unique feature that pdf element is giving is the editing the already existed text of the pdf uh, so these are the main differences so guys uh, please let me know which app you like the most to annotate your pdf files so this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please do subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much